In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, today we gather. We gather at the Lord's table to celebrate the lives of two wonderful women. Our Blessed Mother, on the solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and also someone you know very well, Sister Deirdre, and her fifth anniversary uh, of her passing. And as we come to the Lord's table, and in our own journey back to God, we continue to allow God's grace to be with us and to be confident of His mercy and His ever-present love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who, looking on the lowliness of the Blessed Virgin Mary, raised her to this grace, that your only begotten Son was born of her according to the flesh, and that she was crowned this day with surpassing glory, grant through her prayers that saved by the mystery of your redemption, we may merit to be exalted by you on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. The sanctuary of God in heaven opened, and the Ark of the Covenant could be seen inside it. Now, a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman, adorned with the sun, standing on the moon, and with the twelve stars on her head for a crown. She was pregnant and in labour, crying aloud in the pangs of childbirth. Then a second sign appeared in the sky, a huge red dragon, which had seven heads and ten horns, and each of the seven heads crowned with a coronet. Its tail dragged a third of the stars from the sky and dropped them to the earth. And the dragon stopped in front of the woman 
as she was having the child, so that he could eat it as soon as it was born from its mother. The woman brought a male child into the world, the son who was to rule all the nations with an iron scepter, and the child was taken straight up to God and to his throne, while the woman escaped into the desert, where God has made a place of safety ready. Then I heard a voice shout from heaven, Victory and power and empire forever have been won by our God and all authority for his Christ. The Word of the Lord. The Queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The daughters of kings are among your loved ones. On your right stands the Queen in gold of Ophir. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is the Lord. Pay homage to him. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Death came through one man, and in the same way, the resurrection of the dead has come through one man. Just as all men die in Adam, so all men will be brought to life in Christ, but all of them in their proper order. Christ as the first fruits, and then, after the coming of Christ, those who belong to him. After that will come to an end, where he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, having done away with every sovereignty, authority, and power. For he must be king until he has put all his enemies under his feet, and the last of the enemies to be destroyed is death, for everything is to be put under his feet. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Mary has been taken up into heaven. All the choirs of angels are rejoicing. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Elizabeth's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honoured with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord and my spirit exalts in God, my Saviour, because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Yes, from this day forward, all generations will call me blessed, for the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The, thing, the hungry he has filled with good things, the rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Her authenticity comes from the depth of who she is. These are not my words, but these are the words of Sister Maria Lau, uh, provincial of the IJs. And she used this beautiful line to describe Sister Deirdre, but this line can also be used to describe our Blessed Mother as well. Her authenticity comes from the depth of who she is. And this really resounds with the first line of uh, the Gospel passage we have today from Luke, where we hear Mary's Magnificat, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. That this proclamation of how great God is comes from the depth of Mary's soul. And that's her authenticity, who she really is. Who she is for God and who she is to herself and to us as well. And so Sister Deirdre, her authenticity also comes from the depth of who she is, how she related to God, how she related to people, her students, the teachers, those who encountered her. It's from the depth of who she is. And I think from the example of these two women, we begin to allow ourselves to think, how authentic are we, especially in our journey of life, our journey back to God, our spiritual life. And let's turn back to our Blessed Mother again. From the Gospel of Luke, we can see that Mary, when she greeted Elizabeth, all she had to do is just to call out Elizabeth's name. And Elizabeth, in the depth of her being, she was filled with the Holy Spirit that even the child in Elizabeth's womb felt this Holy Spirit and therefore the child leapt for joy. And so, just by Mary's greeting, the core of Elizabeth and the core of John the Baptist in her womb leapt. And that's the power of the greeting of Mary, the words that came forth from our Blessed Mother. And our Blessed Mother, how did she manage to touch the core of Elizabeth's soul and also the, the soul of John the Baptist? And it's really how she opened herself to the working of the Holy Spirit and to the will of God the Father. That in her openness to God, her yes to God, she allowed God to truly enter her life as she is. So that as the word became flesh in her, whatever is said of her, those words also became flesh and laced with the power of the Holy Spirit to be able to touch the lives of others. And where did she get this from? It's really from that desire to connect with God. Sister Maria also, it's another beautiful line to describe Sister Deirdre, which I would say that will connect um, uh, our Blessed Mother's life as well. And this line is, her contemplative experience deepens the connection with other people, her capacity to care, and to be other-centered. The contemplative experience. That Sister Deirdre had this contemplative element. And our Blessed Mother, really exemplified this for all of us as well. That there was a tradition that has it that our Blessed Mother was meditating, contemplating on the Word of God when the Archangel Gabriel appeared to her and told her that she would become the Mother of God. And so that as she's contemplating the Word of God, the Word became flesh in her, literally. So that whatever she says, whatever she does, is really with the power of the Word of God incarnate in her. And which is why when Elizabeth was touched to the core of her being, Elizabeth was evangelized, that the good news was in her, that immediately she could, she could, she could recognize that 
Mary was not just her cousin, but is the mother of her Lord. And the word Lord in Greek is kurios. And the Gospel writers, when they use the word kurios, um, it is with intention and by no accident. And the word kurios is really to connect um, the word Lord with God. And so Elizabeth was able to recognize what was in Mary, not just an ordinary baby, but a baby that is divine. And so recognizing Mary as the mother of her Lord, but also the mother of God. And I think that's who we are called to be, following after the example of our Blessed Mother and after Sister Deirdre, that in contemplating God's Word, we will become more and more authentic in who we are and who we are to become as God created us to be. And only then, when we are open to the power of the Holy Spirit and the working of the Holy Spirit, can we truly allow the power of the Holy Spirit to touch lives. Not just to touch lives, but to touch the core of their souls as well. And so, for those of us who are called to be educators, we are not just educators, but we are also formators. We are also evangelizers, just as Mary was the first evangelizer, the first disciple of Christ. So let us continue after the example of our Blessed Mother and after the example of Sister Deirdre to continue to walk in our way of Christ, to be always be open to the will of God and to allow the action of the Holy Spirit be powerful in us in order to touch lives, to touch souls and to transform their lives to God. and responding to the good news of God, let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Today, as we commemorate Mary's Assumption into Heaven, we proclaim our belief in the Resurrection and in Life Everlasting. We remember Sister Deirdre, who has completed her life journey and can be counted as one of the saints, constantly giving praise and thanks to the Lord in His heavenly home. With Mary, our Mother, we pray. And let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For all consecrated men and women, especially our IJ sisters, that they may live their vocation with joy and love, and be faithful disciples imbued with zeal, courage, and dedication. We pray that more people may follow in Sister Deidre's and the IJ sisters' footsteps in being religious sisters and associates. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all leaders, that they respect and uphold the dignity of the human person and help those who are disadvantaged in any way, working towards the common good of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the members of the IJ Board of Management, the IJHCC Management Committee, 
school leaders and staff of our 11 CHRD schools and IJHCC and parents that they, like Sister Deidre, may inspire with their wisdom and experience our pupils to uphold and lift the Christian values. We pray Praise to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our IJ family gathered here, our past sisters, staff members, and ex-IJ students, that they continue to live up the school motto to be simple in virtue and steadfast in duty, in their endeavors, or, and stay united in friendship and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the family, friends, and former students of Sister Deja, and all our families, that we all learn to be like her, being always available, having a genuine concern for others, inspiring us to be generous in our God-given gifts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Let us now pray for our personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we honour our Blessed Mother today, we pray to follow example of humility and trust, courage and steadfast love, and by intercession may we be led closer to Christ and to the glory of heaven. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, you become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of consolation and praise, which we celebrate on the assumption of the Holy Mother of God, that it may lead us to your pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvellously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the times betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save our Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Blessed Nicholas Barre, St. Francis and St. Clair, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and from the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On you stay, we tollis pegata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having partaken of this heavenly table, we beseech your mercy, Lord our God, that we who honour the assumption of the Mother of God may be freed from every threat of harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now for a special blessing on this solemnity of our Blessed Mother. The Lord be with you and with your spirit bow down for the blessing may god who through the childbearing of the blessed virgin mary willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race be pleased to enrich you with his blessing amen, amen. may you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life amen, amen. may you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me save that Thou art. Thou art best thought by day or by night. Waking or sleeping, presence, my light. Be thou my wisdom, and thou
was no man's empty praise. Thou mine inheritance now and always. Thou and thou only first in my heart. My King of heaven, my treasure.